Welcome back to RealVacantLand.com. This is Luke Smith. I got another property for you. This one is in Arkansas. It's in the country. I'm calling it $1,299 country land because a lot of people are always asking, Luke, I see all these cheap properties in Arkansas, but why don't you have any in the country? We do have some in the country. You just got to look at the maps. So let's, let's look at the map. So I'm pulling up map search. We're on RealVacantLand.com. At the top of the website, it says map search. I'm going to look at it right here, like map search. And if you're on a phone or whatever, tablet it moves around depending on what kind of device you're on but you get the idea there's a map search link on there and then we got the map and this is a map of the country we got hawaii out there we got puerto rico we got the u.s like spotted properties all over the place you're like luke how do i trust you well some of these other buyers trusted and we've been removing stuff like crazy we've been you know, this, this map has been getting slower and harder to load. I've been getting stuff off of here up in the memory and trying to get the resources better so we can make this so this thing moves even faster. <laughs> so here we go. We're zooming in on Arkansas because we're talking about Arkansas. And if you look at like Little Rock, you know, we got these chunks of properties around Little Rock and Pine Bluff. We got a bunch of them around Pine Bluff right now. And uh, let me see if I find another city I can think of. Um... Camden, you know, these groupings and stuff. So over here we got Bla Blathel or Blethel and um, Blythel, like the, people, the locals say it amazingly well. Memphis, another chunk. So over up north of Memphis, I'm trying to get my geography right. We got Bla Blethel and there's another chunk, but the people want outside of town. So we got this one over here. This is the one I want to show you. This one's outside of town. There's nobody around. If we zoom in on this thing, let's do satellite view. You're right by the river. There's a bunch of fields in the area. Zooming in, zooming in. There's some trees, there's some homesteads, there's some trees. These trees aren't like lined up in a river, right? <laughs> there's just some trees. So here's some trees and here's a driveway that goes through them. And um, so there might be some water in there. There's a puddle. There's a puddle here. You got to go there and figure out how solid this ground is or isn't. So it's close to the Mississippi River. And there's some trees on it. It's like, why isn't it a farm? So it's not a farm because this whole strip is somebody else owns this strip and somebody else owns this land. So I got the map pulled up on this thing. It's a trapezoid triangle looking rectangle that got stretched or bent or whatever <laughs> to fit in between the road and the field. So we got this property. It's like a tenth of an acre. And uh, I'm asking 1299 bucks. And so this property is in the trees and it's got farmer's fields around it. And they grow cotton and soybeans or something. I'm not exactly sure what they grow. If you know what they're growing in these fields, put it in the comments below. They probably rotate different things over time. But I don't think this is like wheat and corn land. I think this is more, um, they, they, they grow crops that they can compete with more. Look, there's a little pond over here. Um, so I'm sure it's really easy to drill a well and get water. There's no street view or I'd show you street view. So the negative of this property is there's not going to be like a, like a sewer and a power like the other ones we have in town. But the positives, there's no neighbors. You get this place to yourself. I mean, yeah, the farmer will go by in his tractor every now and then. But I mean, the rest of it, it's, just, it's all up to you um, to go make what you want to make out of it. So you drive up here, pull in there. Maybe this part's solid, maybe this part's solid, but I'm kind of guessing there might be a waterway in here because it's just like you kind of see some water down here. I don't see any other water, but you see this kind of strip of land in the, in the middle of fields. It just makes me wonder. Maybe it's for the wind or maybe it's for water, but it, it just stops. It's not like it keeps going, right? So it's not like a running waterway in there. Maybe it's just lowlands or maybe it's a hill maybe it's nothing at all and i'm just scratching my head i've never been there um this there might be a little water in there other people driving in there and then it's it it's done but there's a pond over here so there's ponds and you know lowlands and highlands in the area so you have to go check it out and see see if that's one you want to do you could probably pull an rv in here and no one would ever notice just go for it. Country living, right? Okay, so let's get out of this map. We're on realvacantland.com. We've got a buy it now button, $1,299. Well, this one's got a fee on it too. There's a paperwork fee. 
$249, but I'll get the taxes paid on it. So you don't have to pay the taxes on this one. So you know, no taxes. Um, so I'm not sure what the taxes are, but I'll, I'll pay the taxes on it. I don't, it's not much in this county. And um, yeah, here's you know the legal description of the property and the info and the details, Mississippi County, Arkansas. And there you go. There's some property that's in town. Here's a, you know, you go to the store, get some groceries. Here's a post office not very far away. There's a restaurant, um, inn and restaurant. So there's some land. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening to my crazy videos and property presentations. <laughs> I get all kinds of great calls. Uh, please feel free to call and ask questions. I try to answer the phone as much as I can. I don't get all the calls, but I get a lot of them. And uh, we'll figure these out. We'll get the paperwork. We'll get them into your name. You go make it happen. Let me know if I can help. Luke Smith, RuralVacantLand.com. See you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.